if you click this, then you probably need to get stronger because you're weak. Losing that fight in high school was not a candidate event, bro. You could have prevented it and the universe would have been just fine. Normally, you'd attempt to boost your strength stat by like training or working out or spending your XP. And those ways work for the most part, but who needs genuine hard work and effort when you got cheap, totally legit methods? I'm going to teach you much more efficient and quicker ways to boost your strength stat. Quick disclaimer, if you're like below the height of 5'6", then there's a legitimate level cap on your strength stat. Your shit can't go above 65, I'm sorry, it's just not happening. Also, if you got cybernetic enhancements, these methods might not be useful at all. Your rage. Okay, for the first method, what you want to do is pop two or three perk. Okay, I'm lying. Don't do that. That's just going to delete your save file, not boost your stats. For the real first method, what you need to understand is the theory of relativity. Everything is relative. But this is why you can boost your own strength stat relatively by lowering everyone else's. And the easiest way to lower everyone else's is, is with mustard gas. Now hear me out. That one guy from My Hero had the right idea, but this method may also affect you if your build doesn't have poison resistance. Uh, look at him! Huh. Oh! Oh, shit! And it's also like a war crime or some shit, so let me rethink this. The real best way to lower everyone's strength stat is to take off your clothes. Huh? Or whip it out, if you will. Now, hear me out. On God, this works most of the time. So, theoretically, if you whipped it out, in front of your opponent, one of three outcomes would happen. The enemy would become highly distracted, confused, or disturbed, which would make them miss more attacks, right? Right? Two, the enemy would surrender due to numerous reasons. Three, the enemy would get so horny they become stronger. Now that last one sounds strange and impossible, but trust me, that shit has been known to happen to people who are on the edge. It's... It's a risky tactic, but this method has two out of three favorable outcomes. It's not my favorite method, but you could definitely try this one. Now, this second method is one that anyone can use, except maybe like Canadians or some shit. So the second method is called stop being nice. Now, theoretically, if you create the illusion that you are strong, people will believe you are even if you're not. Just look at King from One Punch Man. He has no powers and has regular human capabilities, but the world believes he's an Avenger level threat because he looks and maintains the illusion that he's strong. So in order to do this, you gotta stop being so nice. That means the next time someone holds the door open for you, you gotta call them a bitch. Big disclaimer, do not do this to like alphas or like actual strong people because they will test you in order to keep their alpha status and you will get packed up. So this method may not be the best one. It might actually be ass low key, don't actually use this method. Highly dangerous. Listen, equip a gun. Guns are honestly the most broken weapons next to bombs that humans have ever invented. What are you doing training for anyway when the Glock can just replace the muscle? Get into a fight. You could just one shot anyone. Get trapped behind a locked door. Just shoot the lock and you out. No need to kick the door down. That shit does not work in real life online. Falling from the sky. Just shoot the air to propel yourself and stop you from taking fall damage. It's that easy. Guns are ridiculously broken and you don't need a high level to equip one. So basically just abuse the third, the second, uh, one of the amendments, bro. This shit may not work if you live in like the United Kingdom. Shock your muscles in place. I can guarantee you this method works 96 minus 70% of the time. There's no point in working out if you can just use shock therapy to build muscle. This is kind of like an exploit that hasn't been patched yet. I haven't tried it personally, but I feel like it might work. Realist, matter of fact, if using slight shocks builds muscle, imagine how much large shocks can benefit you. Okay, so I was in the lab, brainstorming, and theoretically, getting hit by lightning should give you some type of superpowers. Really think about it, has anyone ever tried it? Is it possible? Wait, nah, Barry Allen tried it. He got, he got a connection to the speed force. Your muscles should absorb the electricity, giving you a boost in overall power. Now, if you actually do try this method, do not say that I told you to do it. Matter of fact, just don't try this shit at home. Don't even use this method. The only side effect is a 99% chance of death. Huh? But if you're willing to risk it, this can potentially pay off. Okay, the final method. This is the last method and the best method. You need to create 
a special move. Okay, hear me out. Now, theoretically, <laughs> you need to create a special move. A signature, if you will. A ultimate technique. Your shit has to hit for like 100 damage at least. Do not create a shitty special move, bro. Like, for example, the Raw Sangon. I know y'all know where that came from. Naruto got it. Yeah, I could probably do it too. My special move is called Advanced Projectile Throw. I pick up the nearest heavy... Nearest? I pick up the nearest heavy object and throw it at my enemy's head with pinpoint accuracy. I do not miss. This usually gives my opponent the confusion or sleep debuff depending on how hard it hits them. I also got a couple more moves but I'm not exposing all my techniques. Once you create your unique special move, you'll instantly bump up your strength stat by at least 30 points. Next week, I'll help you boost your intelligence stat, because I know y'all need it.